This is the win rack that I will open up to install a Dante card. I'm not a professional videographer, but I just show you how it's done. There are in total um, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten torque screws. And I use for that a very small torque bit. It's number eight. So let's see what's inside. Inside is the main board. The main board. That's where the uh, Dante card will be seated. Many will say that it's not necessary to wear a wristband for ESD. I want to put on my wristband first because I think it's important. So I have here a Brooklyn 2, I took it for my wing, um, I'm connected with an ESD cord, I think it's important, other people say it isn't, the um, holder for the card is slightly different than in the wing, this is not a tilting card holder. Now you can slot it in. As you can see, it's now seated. And you can see that those two clips over there are in the holes of the card. The clip there is in the holes of the card and it nicely lines up with the holder. That's all. That's all you need to do uh, for the hardware installation. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Okay, we have seen it all. Let's go close it up. It's not that much work if you know what to do. Now let's see if it works. I switched the wing rack on while holding the utility button pressed. There it is. And then mod. Done to apply. And look, there it is. Done to. Now I have to switch the wing off and switch it on again. So setup, shut down, confirm. Switch it on again. There it is. Um, that's the home screen setup. Dante is there. If we now go to routing and then we go to um, sources, Dante. Then we see that we have all the Dantes. And if you go to output, um, then we have also Dante. Oh, good. So this is um, all about installing Dante card internally. Hope you enjoyed it. 
And um, if any comments, then uh, leave them below. Thank you very much.